Now let's solve these questions. So again, we are solving the examples where we get infinity by infinity form. So if you observe this, limit x tends to infinity x square plus 5 x square plus 4x plus 3. Now if you try to substitute this infinity over here, you are going to get both in numerator and denominator in infinity. So how to solve it is, see one thing is you can apply a loss pedals rule, but then since both the functions are of polynomial type, and you can try you know uh, pulling out something as common just see if it works now if i pull out x square as common then i get this function and if i pull out x square as common in denominator i'm going to get this function x square and x square gets cancelled and now you are going to get one and one in the leading term right so if you try to put infinity over here it is going to be zero one by infinity one by infinity one by infinity therefore you are going to get this you know how to understand this one is Whenever both the powers are same in the polynomial, numerator and denominator, you can pull them and cancel them out, right? And you can eliminate such questions, okay? Whenever limit exchange infinity is given, okay? And this is a combination of both polynomial and trigonometric functions. If you try to apply infinity over here, you are going to get infinity by infinity form, right? So again, for this function, sometimes you might need to apply a loss pedals rule, right? And otherwise, what you could do is, instead of using a loss pedal rule, you can just try pulling out something as common, this x, and see if you could minimize it. Now, if I try that, see this, if I pull out x as common, I am going to get x minus sin x by x, and if I pull out x as common, I am going to get x into 1 plus cos x by x, x into 1 minus sin x by x, x into 1 plus cos x by x. So, I will cancel out the terms x, and now if you observe this, sin x by x is there and I am going to substitute infinity there, right? What is sin infinity? Whatever the value of infinity is, sin value is always going to lie between minus 1 and 1, isn't it? Therefore, here you are going to get minus 1 and 1. It is always going to lie between these two factors and the denominator is going to be infinity. So, overall it is going to be 0. 0 multiplied with a range of minus 1 and 1, isn't it? See denominator is infinity you can take it to numerator which is 0 now 0 is multiplied with this one a range of minus 1 to 1 value whatever it is going to be 0 similarly you can apply the same logic for cos x cos x is also going to always lie between minus 1 and 1 whatever the value of infinity is you are going to get 0 here the entire term right so again you are going to get 1 there now if you look at the next example it is logarithmic so there is no other way you can solve it only option is go for uh, you know a loss pedal rule if you go for a loss pedal rule you have differentiate numerator and denominator yes when i differentiated it i got this expression and after differentiating it you just write it in a form where it will be convenient for us to uh, you know see solve it so see once i have differentiated it and i got this one and i'm just writing it this way okay and now this entire function can be written as I can cancel out this this right and now you are going to get 2 and 2 is cancelled cos 2x divided by cos square x isn't it sine is cancelled cos 2x divided by cos square x right so now if we apply limit x tends to 0 we know that cos 2x the center thing is 0 and cos 0 is 0 and again the center thing is 0 and cos 0 is 0 therefore 1 by 1 that is 1 got it okay hi if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i will give you all the reasons so first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%, but all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, 
if you have done your masters in computer science in us the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year so even if you take an average of 1 crore per year your savings will be much higher than the salaries in india after taxes and your cost of living you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year and in india the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs so your savings will be much greater than the salaries in india and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then lor guidance and gre and english test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90 percent success rate 99 percent success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494 555 454 okay thank you